hey, it's Rachel, and I wanna help you reduce the number of times your kids complain. Because I don't know about you, but I find it particularly annoying when kids use that really whiny voice and say things like, that music's too loud, or my sister took my stuff. That, that voice that they use can be really, really grating on your nerves. And the good news is that there's something you can teach them that will reduce this type of complaining. But I wanna start by saying one of the reasons that kids complain a lot over and over is because of the way we respond to them when they do complain. So let's say they say, my sister took my stuff. What we usually do is we either focus on their behavior and we say, stop whining, stop complaining, go fix the problem yourself. We don't really teach them how to fix the problem. So if their sister takes their, their stuff the next time, they still don't know how to deal with it, so they continue to complain. Or if we don't just tell them to go away and stop their whining and complaining, we may fix it for them. So if they're complaining that their sister took their stuff, we may just go to their sister and say, give it back. What that does is that teaches them, anytime you wanna get something from your sister, go tell mom or dad and they'll fix it for you that continues the complaining as well. What we ultimately need to do instead is teach them how to solve their own problems so they don't have to complain in the first place. And there's a really simple way to do this. There's actually one phrase or two versions of one phrase you can teach your kids so that they can solve their own problems. So what you can tell your kids is, and I use this with my kids all the time, I say to my kids, solutions start with, can I please? or can you please? So whenever they start complaining, I actually model what it looks like to come up with a solution. So for example, if they say, that music's too loud, I'll say to them, can you say, can you please turn it down? So I show them what that phrase sounds like, and that phrase again is either gonna start with, can I please, or can you please? So if they say, my sister took my stuff, I'll say, can you say, can you please give it back to me? Eventually you take out that first part and you just tell them what it sounds like. So then another example, if they say to their brother or sister, you're in my space, which is a complaint, you would say, can you say to your brother or sister, can you please move? So you're teaching them what it sounds like to start a solution with can I please or can you please? You do this over and over and I will tell you what happens is they get sick of you saying that and they get sick of you showing them. They do start to actually use these phrases themselves. They start to make these solutions and they complain less. So it does take a little bit of effort in the beginning to just keep saying this over and over. They do not get it the first time, but ultimately it becomes music to your ears when you hear them say, can you please give that to me when you're done rather than give it to me or stop taking my stuff. Can you please? Can I please? The beginning of any solution for the complaints that they have. So I hope that gives you an idea for how to reduce the complaining next year. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at rachel at rachel-bailey.com. I'll see you next time.